As a young child, my next guest, Jake, had trouble walking and climbing stairs. Then at eight years old, he was diagnosed with a form of muscular dystrophy. Today at 17, Jake is confined to a wheelchair, but that doesn't stop him from acting in school plays, holding down a job, and inspiring others. Take a look at Jake's story. As a child, I was much slower than the other kids, and I always wondered why. I would fall down a lot. It was very frustrating. My youngest son, Jake, was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or as we call it, DMD. It affects all the muscles in your body. There's currently no cure. At 12 years old, I ended up in a wheelchair. It was a huge relief for me because I was like, hey, I don't have to fall anymore. I felt very devastated when Jake lost his ability to walk, but then the wheelchair gave him the independence that he did didn't have because he kept falling. I really don't let Duchenne get in my way. Hello, everybody! <laughs> I perform in my drama society at school, and it's just a real joy for me. When he's on stage, he shines. I love that my child has found his place. When I'm up on stage performing, I hope the audience will stop noticing the wheelchair and see that I am just a completely normal kid. Even though Duchenne has taken my ability to walk, it still is not slowing me down. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jake is joining me along with his mother, Cheryl, and our very good friend from Pfizer, Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall. Thank you yeah. for being here. Thank you. Now, Jake, you've been in a wheelchair since you were 12, and yet you're out there like any other junior in high school doing things you enjoy, and that's clearly acting. What is it about being on stage that makes you happy? Well, Dr. Phil, I think to put it simply, I think the main thing that makes me happy is the fact that I get to entertain people, and when I'm on stage, I just forget the wheelchair. I forget I have Duchenne. I forget I have the disease. I just feel good. Yeah. But Cheryl, what are your thoughts when you first heard Jake's diagnosis? What was your reaction? Well, for two weeks, we had a pity party. Right. And we were sad. But then we focused on Jake and him living his best life. And we do that every day. And as you can see, Duchenne doesn't stop him from doing what he loves. Dr. Frieda, what exactly is Duchenne muscular dystrophy? Tell us about it. Yep, so Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD, as Cheryl reminded us, um, is a rare and serious genetic disease. Now, there are many forms of muscular dystrophy. Duchenne is the most common form. The way that it's inherited, it mostly affects boys. Um, it is very rare to have uh, a girl born with DMD. But it affects um, about one in 3,500 male infants worldwide. So Jake is describing muscle weakness, which is really important. Mm -hmm. um, in many cases, that muscle weakness and muscle wasting progresses as the disease progresses and may affect the heart muscle and the muscles that are involved in breathing. This can lead to um, life-threatening situations. At what age does it start showing up? So it starts showing up um, between the ages of one and six years. And uh, the early symptoms may include things like a baby who can't sit on their own or um, who can't stand independently or who isn't walking at 18 months. And there may be other symptoms, muscle weakness, this clumsiness where you keep falling, mm -hmm. difficulty climbing stairs, jumping and running. Do you remember having some of these before you were diagnosed? I can remember running much slower than the other kids. And so as hard as it was getting that diagnosis that Dr. Frieda mentioned, it really gave me an answer for why I was having issues in these areas. So what are the treatments? So unfortunately, there currently is no cure for muscular dystrophy or for Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. But there's a lot of active research in this area now. And researchers are really studying the disease and hopefully to bring new treatment options to patients. How do you stay so positive? What's your motivation? I think honestly my motivation is that I get to inspire younger kids with Duchenne who see me do all these things like, you know, doing theater. And my motto for life is don't live the diagnosis, live the life. And that's what I want to do every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Look, to learn more about Duchenne muscular dystrophy or any other health-related subject, visit GetHealthyStayHealthy.com. Of course, while you're on Get Healthy, Stay Healthy, you can sign up for our monthly newsletter. Look, I want to thank all of my guests today and a special thanks to my buddy, Dr. Frieda Lewis-Hall. Uh, and Jake, thank you so much, not only for being here, but just for being you. Thank you for being you. I really mean it.